Hey guys, it's Mile. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm actually refilming, like I just finished filming it, and then I realized that I had my mic on the wrong setting. I sounded like a little mouse. The first thing that I want to talk about is the Lorac Pro 3 palette. So, did I mention this is on all the most recent Lorac releases, or at least the ones that I have and have been loving. The one that most recently came out is the Lorac Pro Palette 3. This is the box. You get another mini primer, which I use today to prime my eyes. And then it's a big old box, but you get a really sleek package. This is what it looks like. Um, I love that it's like a blush nude package, but it does get dirty. Mine already got dirty. You get the same amount of product um, and the same kind of set up you get eight mattes and eight shimmers uh just the same as the Lorac Pro 1 and 2 it is $44 and it has the same kind of like matte packaging as all the other palettes have so when you open it up you get your little mirror and then you get these babies so in comparison to the Lorac Pro 1 and 2 this is definitely more of a natural palette um the box says that it's for soft and feminine looks or something like that or the website, I don't know. But I agree 100%. I feel like this is more of a everyday neutral palette. It is not too, it doesn't lean too cool or too warm. You have a little bit of everything. This is not a glam palette. This to me is more of a natural everyday palette. Um, let me give you guys a quick comparison. This is the Lorac Pro 1. People love this, but as you guys can see immediately, it is a lot more dark. Like you have light shades, but it just kind of, it's a good, it's a really, really good palette, but I feel like this is more for more intense looks, more uh, glam looks, more nighttime looks. The one thing that I don't like about this palette is that you don't have a lot of uh, transition shades, especially not a lot of brown. Like, you have a good one for dark for light skin and for darker skin. It is versatile, it is complete, but I feel like the, if I would change something is add a little bit more uh neutral transition shades so i tend to go for this palette when i want more of a glam look and then the Lorac pro 2 i don't feel like this palette gets a lot of love but i really 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 like it because i really love these transition shades so you have buff um which i just love to set or as a brow bone highlight or whatever and light brown cool gray nectar these are beautiful transition shades and then you have your beautiful pops of colors this is like a matte navy um, which is really nice and pigmented. The plum is stunning. You get your black. Um, and then you get these beautiful shimmery shades. This beautiful green, which is a beautiful pop of color. This is the palette that I go to if I want more of a fresh, awake, kind of like if I'm going out during the daytime, um, if I want something more bright, or if I want a more colorful kind of evening wear this is the palette that i go to so i feel like each palette has like its own personality <laughs> with this palette i feel like this is for a person that wants to kind of like really really soft soft glam it up look really feminine really put together but really like just really soft and really natural but it still allows you to have some kind of little bit of depth if you want to deepen out a look or if you want to uh, make a look a little bit more sultry a little bit more smoky i feel like you can so i love that about this palette because um i feel like most palettes are always like just trying to give you intensity and brightness and while i love that i feel like every now and then it's nice to have a basic palette and i feel like this is a basic go-to palette my favorite part about this palette is all of these transition shades this is my favorite part this is what i felt like the Lorac pro one um needed you have so many transition shades i love the bottom row i did use this shade amethyst um in my outer corner um and it did give a little bit of a little bit of like a berry kind of undertone to my look but um this is a color that I would think looks better kind of packed onto the lid because once you start to blend it out, it kind of just loses that vibrancy. And then Medallion is a shade that I have all over um, the inner half of my lid, but it is not very like pigmented. It's It honestly has like, it's kind of chunky. It has uh, chunks of glitter. And I find that the only way that I was able to make this shade work was with Fix Plus. I had to add some Fix Plus to intensify it and to kind of make it stick and look pigmented. Once I did that, it looks really beautiful, but I am a little bit disappointed in the texture and the formula of this shade. 
but nonetheless it's not a shade that it's not like a complete dud because you can make it work i think that if you have enough palettes if you feel like you have enough neutral palettes if you feel like you just want something more glam and more bright and stuff this is not the palette for you like at all but if you want your basic go-to that a palette that you know that you're safe with that you can find something to wear every day like if you're in the market for your everyday perfect neutral palette I think that this is an amazing, 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 amazing option for you. This is going to be perfect for the everyday. With the exception of that one shade, the pigmentation is amazing. The blendability is just the same. It has the same amount of kick up as all the... It's literally the same exact formula. Um, so if you have the Pro 1 or the Pro 2, but you want something that's a little bit more neutral, don't worry about the formula. Everything is the same. I don't know if uh, people with medium to deeper skin tones are going to enjoy this as much as i do because i feel like it does lean a little bit more light but again for anybody that felt like they were missing or they didn't get what they wanted from the first two palettes i feel like this is the palette for you so moving on i want to talk about their new light source illuminating blushes not blushes highlighters i have all four and i absolutely love them this is what the box looks like um this is what the packaging looks like and i love it because you can see the shade right there you can swatch it um, at the store and see which color works best for you. I love the formula of this. Um, the texture kind of reminds me of the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfectors. The way it blends into your skin is so beautiful. Um, you can definitely put a nice light wash of highlight. This is kind of like a medium, medium intensity. But you can definitely add a little bit of Fix Plus to your brush and intensify it and really make it look like you know that beaming highlight that a lot of people are into which I myself love but if you want something more soft you can definitely get the same effect from this highlighter um, I've seen some people complain um, on like comments and stuff saying that they can't, they can't get it to work for them like no matter what brush they use it doesn't show up I recommend a synthetic brush um, it picks up a nice amount of product and it deposits it and blends it perfectly I love that it looks like skin well kind of like skin like it melts into the skin the these powders do not sit on top of the skin I use these two brushes these are my favorite for these powders this is the real technique setting brush and this is like six dollars at the drugstore it is amazing or if you want to try something even um, more affordable the elf small tapered blush blush no the elf small tapered brush is another good one that picks up a nice amount of product and you have control over where you apply it because small but not too small anyway i love these i first bought the shade twilight which is the darkest shade and it was too dark for me but i love the formula and the texture and everything so much that i went out and bought the other three so i'm gonna show you guys close-ups but the first one that i have here is moonlight this is like a pinky pearl kind of shade if you like pinky mauvey looks and stuff like that and that is what you tend to go for this is gonna look absolutely beautiful on you um i love this shade i am not a pink highlight kind of girl but there's something about the pearlness with the pink that makes it look so beautiful on the skin i absolutely love this one by the way i also love the packaging it is so sleek i love them they have a magnetic closure and i love that you can see the color from the front and kind of get a hint of the color from the back so absolutely love these so the next one is starlight and that's the shade that i am wearing today um this one is um it's more it's not champagne it's more of like a white gold like a white pale gold kind of like a white champagne i don't know but it's definitely a lot more white a lot more bright than the for example mary luminizer i love this highlight i feel like it looks so beautiful on the skin like there you go that's what it looks like by the way these retail for 22 dollars, and you get 6.52 grams of product which i think is i think it's a good deal so the next one is Daylight, and this is more of a gold. It's not too much of an intense gold. It's like a shade darker than Starlight, and it's also a little bit more warm. Starlight is more icy. This one has a little bit more of like a warm gold feel to it. I feel like people with light medium or medium skin tones are going to absolutely love this one. Um, just go swatch it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. They apply to your face like a dream, but they swatch and they feel so buttery smooth. I love them. And then finally, we have Twilight, which is the first shade that I bought that was just too dark as a highlight for me. I think that these are a freaking 
amazing product and I I've just really been into them like they're great I really love them then we have the buildable blushes same exact sleek beautiful packaging I love it you can see it from the front you can see it from the back I think they came out with eight shades but I picked up four of them so the boxes for the blushes and the highlights are exactly the same um, literally <laughs> the only difference is you know you get the name on the top and then this one says blush and it's colorful and this one is for the highlighter and it looks like highlighter so I have four shades and they all kind of like in the same family they actually have some really cool intense shades like they have like a really vibrant purple which I don't think would ever look good on me but whoever can rock that oh my god that's so cool let's start off with the one that I'm wearing today it's the lightest one that I have this one is called prism I feel like this is the perfect everyday blush it's like the perfect nude with just the perfect amount of peach it just complements the skin so well now these are really 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 pigmented like they also have a lot of kick up but they are so pigmented like look at that definitely tap off the excess when you're applying this and slowly build it up that is why they're called buildable blushes start off slowly because it is really freaking intense but the beauty of it is that they blend out so easily and so seamlessly so i love this this is like my everyday favorite shade they are all matte um they're not chalky they're not powdery they just blend into the skin next we have the shade technicolor which is it's it's intense they describe it as a matte coral by the way i don't know if i mentioned all of the blushes that they came out with are matte i'm a matte blush kind of girl i like sheen i love shimmery blushes but if i can control the amount of sheen on my face i'd always prefer that because i am oily they're matte but they're not like a dull matte so this is technicolor this is beautiful i feel like when i have more of a tan this is gonna look so stunning oh my god i absolutely love this shade it is so cool um next we have aura which online looks like it's a lot more of like a brown kind of blush the website does describe it as a rose and i would say that that's dead on it's definitely a rose shade it looks so pretty if you're wearing any mauve looks. It's really, really pigmented, so light hand people. This is called Cinematic. The website describes it as a matte plum. And yeah, it's like a plummy brown kind of... It's beautiful. I feel like this is that perfect blush where if you don't want to contour, if you don't want to bronze, but you just kind of want to give a little bit of definition and color to your face, this is the perfect blush to do that. I feel like some skin tones are going to be able to use this as like a blush bronzer um but it is such a beautiful shade yeah i love these blushes i feel like they are amazing great quality lorac in my opinion has been killing it with these releases and i can't get enough of those products like i'm constantly constantly using them they are amazing and then finally what i'm wearing on my lips i just wanted to mention it um i've previously purchased the lorac um, alter ego lipstick or highly pigmented lipstick i'm sorry this is in goddess i love this shade so much it's a matte lipstick and then i wanted to like kind of pair it with the alter ego lip gloss this is in goddess as well and i'm wearing this today over their new lip liners this is the Lorac alter ego lip liner um and they have i think they have one to match almost every lipstick that they have so creamy so amazing they are nice and pigmented they don't tug at your lips they're just like the perfect amount of creamy where they're not going to move around they're going to be a nice border for your lipstick to stay inside of so for those of you guys that don't like wooden pencils this is ideal for you because this is retractable um, which makes it really nice for travel as well because you don't have to worry about sharpening your lip liner I love the pigmentation of this I love the color of it I feel like it's so well, sorry I feel like it is perfect it's perfect and i just wanted to have like all three of them little family and they work so well together i lined and filled in my lips with the lip liner then went in with the lipstick and then the gloss they're all very similar in color um they're almost exactly exactly the same but i am gonna be showing you guys swatches so the blushes the highlighters in my opinion are freaking must have um again with the Lorac pro palette 3 if you want a natural everyday like your go-to everyday palette that pro palette 3 is gonna be perfect for you also if you're in the market for new lip liners these are great ones um, I 
I think Clorox is kicking some serious a bootay. I overall loved all of these products. I think they're awesome. So that is my review for you guys. I'm sorry if this video is a little bit long. So let me know in the comments down below if you are planning on getting any of these products or if you have them do you love them you know how do you like what brushes do you like for it do you i don't know were you disappointed let me know i want to know if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure to do so if you enjoyed this video and give this video a thumbs up if you like these reviews that does it i love you guys very much and i will see you guys next time bye you.